Hello, my name is Steve Watts and I am from a company called Yealink. Yealink design and manufacture their own comprehensive range of high quality but cost effective business class SIP handsets. And today I am here to present to you an overview of the features and functionality of one of the devices from the range, the W52P IPDEX SIP handset. Laid out before me are all of the items from inside the Yealink W52P IPDEX handset gift box. First things first, paperwork. Here we have a declaration of conformity and warranty statement, a quick reference guide, a quick installation guide, and there is a CD which contains copies of each of these documents. Now, following the quick installation guide, we will now assemble the Yealink W52P IP deck handset. Okay, the first thing to do with the W52P is connect the power supply to the charger. Now, of course, this is a UK power supply. One will be supplied correctly for your particular country. The next stage is to connect the power supply to the base station. The next thing is to do is to connect the ethernet cable. Now if the uh, Ethernet cable is PoE, the unit supports PoE, so we don't actually need the PSU. So we can actually disconnect the PSU, move it to one side, and then connect the PoE cable. And the final stage is powering up and connecting the handset, the W52H. So in the unit comes two Yaling batteries. You disconnect the base unit, install the batteries correctly. Then attach the, the carry case if you want it. A little bit tricky, but there you go. and then the unit can be mounted in the charger. Once the unit is assembled and powered up, the final stage of the installation is configuring the device. All of the Ailing devices support auto provisioning via various methods, PNP, DHCP, TFTP, FTP, HTTP, and securely via HTTPS. So if a configuration is available for download via any of these methods, the installation would now be complete. However, if you need to manually configure the W52P base station, you can use a suitable browser on your laptop, browsers like Internet Explorer, Firefox, or Chrome. If you are to use a browser on your laptop, you will need to know the IP address of the device to enter into the browser command line. And this is achieved by simply pressing the OK button on the W52H three times. The W52H has many features and settings which are all configurable via the on-screen intuitive menu structure embedded into the device. So now we have the Yealink SIP IP Deck W52P unit fully assembled. The W52P is a pack containing one base station and one W52H handset. The W52P supports five SIP accounts, five W52H handsets, and can manage four simultaneous calls. The base station supports CAT IQ2, HD Voice, and because the W52P also supports PoE, the base station can be mounted at the most optimum coverage location a PoE cable can be installed. The W52H handset has a 1.8 inch 128 by 160 color TFT display. The screen itself has been simplified providing the user clear screen instructions when configuring and operating the device. 
The W52H is also shockproof and shatterproof and includes a belt fastener. The W52, as you can see, sits in a cradle to charge and at the same time offer high definition hands-free. The torque time is 10 hours and the standby time is a long 100 hours. The coverage is 50 meters to 300 meters depending on the environment, of course. All in all, the Yealink IP Deck W52P is a SIP cordless phone that's designed for small business users who are looking for immediate cost saving with scalability and with efficiency in mind. Thank you for listening to my presentation, and I trust you now have an understanding of the Yealink IP Deck SIP W52P device. As I have covered so many points, please continue to watch this summary of the key features of the W52P.